Yo, what's up, boys? So today we are going to be talking about why you should get like an NMD, a regular NMD, not like the human races, but just like the R2s or the R1s, doesn't really matter. Cause they're, they're cool shoes and you need a shoe that's somewhat hype beast to wear, like to get dirty. Like you yeah. see these, these are supposed to be white, but they aren't white. They're like gray, okay, they're really nasty. And I, my Yeezys are kind of gross, but I try to wear these so I can keep my other shoes clean. Mm -hmm. And so this is the black version of the white ones? Yeah. And we have custom laces on here. You can see they have, uh, it says the brand with the three stripes in Japanese, I believe. And you can see the other colors, navy yeah. blue and red. And there's black right here on the black ones and i think that that really enhances the shoe like before these just had regular plain white laces but when i added these laces to them it really made it like pop and on this one see this is the other pair of it i have that with red so it's blue and red i feel like it really makes it like stand out and it's different than other shoes. And see the, it matches really well with the back. So yeah, these NMDs are really good pair of shoes. Really good for activities, sports. I mean, high quality, yeah, look, like playing, look really nice. Playing soccer like in the gym, these, are, these work really well. And they're super comfortable because they've got a lot of boost. Not as much as the Ultra Boost, but like the Ultra Boost are cool, but these definitely look way better. And they're more like, they're more high beast than Ultra Boost. They're also more affordable by like 40, 50 dollars. These retail for like 130, 120, and the Ultra Boost are like 180. Yeah, these, they're honestly, they're so worth the price that you pay for them. And I'll probably still be wearing these like a year from now. Like if I'm just going to the park or walking outside, like I usually never wear my Yeezys or my human races, like just playing, cause you don't want to get them dirty. As you can see there, they don't have an insole, but like at first it's a little weird cause you can see there's like those little honeycomb shaped cutouts. So you can see the boost. Like at first it's a little uncomfortable but as you wear them, like after like two weeks, you don't even notice it's there. So don't like not buy them because there's those honeycomb things and there's no insole because it's actually so much better and they're so much more comfortable than your typical running shoe. Like Nikes and Vans and stuff like that. Yeah, like I have Brooks, which it's like a, like a professional running shoe and these are so much more comfortable. Like I would so much rather wear these to run in than my Brooks. That's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe and like this video and comment down below if you think this advice was helpful. See you in the next video.